Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Destiny the Daleks Collector Set. Comes with two Dalek drones, Davros, and the Fourth Doctor. Um, I spent some money on this thing. I'm very proud of buying this thing. And now, I want to make a video on this to make my money's truly worth it. Which, I will say it is. Um, bought it for like, what, $66? On Amazon UK, it's like 125 if you're curious where I found it, it was at a comic book store. I'm not going to say which one, because they have two good deals on the Dalek figures, which... Yeah. Uh. Anyways, I guess I'm going to start with the, uh, the Daleks. Comes with two of them. You know, they all got paint. They're the exact same, except for, I guess, this little ring hose thing and little metal spikes. So I'm just going to move this one to the side. Four points of articulation. The eye, head, arm, and arm. Really nice paint scheme, uh, paint scheme, I don't know, uh, paint job, there you go. Very nice. Got some good detail, the eyes and everything. Pretty nice figure. Uh, the reflectance on the black, as you can see. At the bottom, there's, like, um, words right here, which I don't even think you can see if I tried focusing it. Turn up the brightness a little bit. Yep, that ain't gonna happen. Uh... Good detail. Here he is next to the Renegade Dalek. Back a little bit. Exact same height, exact same mold and everything. And here he is next to the um, Peer Strategist Dalek. I don't have anything to adjust my camera, so uh, sorry about that. A little circle thing right there. Um, it, you can see off the camera, I think. Yeah, I don't know what that's there for. Um, how accurate is it compared to the Daleks you see on Doctor Who? 100%. Next up, Devros. One of the main reasons they bought the set. Um, he's like the lead scientist led to the creation of Daleks. If you're a big Doctor Who fan, I don't need to explain it to you. If you're not a fan of Doctor Who, um, if I tried explaining everything to you, be here for an hour. This little bald thing. I, I have no clue what that is, because I never saw that episode. Um, in Lord of Daleks, uh, designer built off the wheelchair. You may be thinking, what happened to this man? I do here another 10 minutes to explain that to you. So it has some nice buttons, has this one opposable arm. His head can move to left and right. He has like five points of articulation in total. It spins really nicely, actually. Pretty good detail. Face-wise, um, try focusing it. Yeah, it's not gonna happen either. Yeah, uh, my phone's being a bitch to me today. Um, Wrinkle-wise, and like his clothes, very nice. Um, paint job, really, really good. On the side right here, you press this button, this pops out. And you have a little control panel thing. Anyways, and it comes to the space plate, which is just, you know, that. Um, one thing that does scare me a little bit is how scary skinny it is like you can barely even see on the camera i think it's like it's really skinny and it could easily break like if you're to try like pulling on it i don't want to like send an example of me like trying to pull on it because i'm you know just that paranoid really nice piece clips in easily don't ever want to be too rough and you never want to drop this guy either because he's not the kind of dude you can just throttle around like a normal dalek figure next to the fourth doctor wait i think i forgot something um, here's this guy's height compared to a Dalek. So I was height comparison next to the normal Doctor Who, but next to the Peter Savage, um, Dalek. And here he is next to a golden fidget spinner. Don't ask me why I have this with me, I just did. Let's let it spin. Fourth Doctor, epic. Um, you know, I'm gonna try raising this camera, hold on. I could do... Uh, back to the doctor, or, yeah. Articulation-wise, very nice. A little swivel in the boots. Knees, back and forth, legs into a split. It's just kind of restricted because of his little trench coat. Um, he has a little scarf thing. Neck moves left, right. His arms, left, right, back, forth. They don't go up, you know, like a Marvel Legends figure, per se. But, still, it's a pretty cool guy. Um... 
Paint job wise, I guess they did good enough. You can tell his face is like all rubbery and crap, like it's a robot and human skin or something. Nice little paint job. Very nice detail actually. Very exceptional. And um about that. Anyways, um paint scheme or whatever why it was pretty nice. Scarf, I guess the only thing that really has color in it. Other than because everything else kinda of like a bland single colored piece, which you know, still a good figure. Hair detail, um Everyone loves a good afro. I think that's an afro. I'm gonna pretend it is. Um, here's a screwdriver piece. Can I get this video thing to zoom in on it? God gonna bully me more. Where's my phone? Phone can you not harass me for once. Oh my god, this thing is not gonna work. Uh picture red stick with a little red ball on it um here he is with the uh, other fourth doctor figure which came in the uh, which um that fourth doctor the hat came with the renegade dalek the uh black one a lot of the same and separate sculpts they have the same screwdriver and everything same coats anyways uh some detail on that ball thing Film Devros's chair. Davros, Devros. Okay, compresses his buttons on his chair. Uh this guy I guess could murder this dude if he really wanted. I think if I slam him and knock him over, but I don't want to risk breaking this guy. Speaking of which, this guy's pretty fragile, actually, especially in the helmet. Like, you can't tug on this, or else it's gonna, you know, that's gonna pop out. But you can always slide that back in. I hope you can, at least. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it'll break for other people. Uh, I guess it's time for a conclusion. Conclusion! Overall, would I say this thing is worth 125 bucks? Oh, well, that I'd say maybe, because the average two-pack... You know, the Dalek coming with a person is like anywhere from thirty to like fifty bucks, or at the comic book store place it is at least. I don't want to say which place because, well, the deals are too good, and I know for a fact um, if any real Doctor Who fan were to find that place, they'd tell their friends about it, and then they'd be sold out in like a week. I can't have that happen. But um, yeah. online like these things are pretty expensive. They're kind of sold out everywhere except for Amazon UK, where they're a hundred and twenty-five dollars. If you're to find another comic book store selling them for $66, would it be worth it? Very much, because you'd, I guess, be getting two figures free. I don't know. The yeah, average Darlix is like 30 bucks. I might just guess, from how, because of the beer Darlics come alone. Except in their own pack, which are like 20, 30 bucks. I don't know. Either way, is it worth 125 Maybe. Overall set, I'd give like a, probably a... I'm gonna give it like a solid 8. Why doesn't it have a 10? Well, um, for one, I'm just very paranoid about, about that piece breaking and just the doctor. You know, I, I don't like the other just came with this version more, because I like this version of the horse doctor more than this body. A lot of fell. Uh, like and subscribe. I might upload a build mox video later today. Uh, hope this video doesn't collapse into the crowd of my other horrible videos. See ya.